Good morning, XOR, XNOR fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today I want to talk about a problem that has uh, come up more than once in an investigation that I've worked in. Um, now, it's, it's a problem only because the prosecution has brought this up as a viable argument, and it is caused by an examiner not knowing what they're looking at. So let's have a look at, at what the problem is that I'm talking about. So the problem we have, the allegation, we'll say first, is that a picture has been found. And this is the path where, well, in the cases that I've worked on, law enforcement has said the picture is. Now, Understand, this is an example. This is uh, the story, names and, and that have been changed. But so we have a picture and then they say, okay, here's the path that the picture has been found at and there's the name of the picture. Uh, now, the idea is that someone has been trying to hide a picture. That is the allegation once this picture has been found, because quite obviously the file path that you see here is a pretty ridiculous looking file path. I mean, really, who is going to create a picture and then name it that? So how did they come to that? How did they come to think that the picture existed at a file path like that? Well, uh, this is end case, and this is how things looked in end case. So what we see here is that certainly by the file header, and the hex header certainly looks like a picture. When we look at the name, well, there's the name, but the name isn't a picture name, it's a .cur, that's a cursor file. So the name doesn't conflate to the picture. And so let's look at it a little closer. Well, we see this symbol here, this little arrow. In any case, that means the file's been deleted, but the MFT entry still exists. But the sector it refers to has a different file in it. You have to know this to understand what you're seeing. So here is, again, what we found. This is what uh, law enforcement said what the file was, but it wasn't. Under further examination, this is what the file was. This was actually a web cache file. Then why are they calling it a cursor file? Well, because they've examined it wrong. Because they've come to the wrong conclusion. And hey, let's not let the facts get in the way of a good solid conviction. Now, in the next episode, we're going to talk about how this mistake gets made. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.